Hello students! Today we'll discuss about the two gas laws namely Boyle's law and Clary's law and the theory which explains the behavior of gases, the kinetic molecular theory. In this learning activity sheet, you will investigate how gases behave in different conditions based on knowledge of motion and distances between gas particles which enable you to explain the behavior of gases using the assumptions in the kinetic molecular theory as well as the relationships between volume, temperature, and pressure using the established gas laws. The milk for this learning activity sheets are Investigate the relationship between volume and pressure at constant temperature of a gas. Investigate the relationship between volume and temperature at constant pressure of a gas. And explain these relationships using the kinetic molecular theory. The objectives describe the relationship between volume and pressure at constant temperature of a gas. Analyze the relationship between volume and temperature at constant pressure of a gas. And demonstrate an understanding of these relationships using the kinetic molecular theory. Before we do the activities, we'll first define some terms because we will use this as we go through the lesson. The first term is gas. Gas is one of the phases of matter that has no definite shape and no definite size and can be compressed easily. It is a substance in which it will expand freely to fill the whole container. Volume Volume is the amount of space occupied by three-dimensional objects. In our case, these objects are gas particles measured in cubic units. So whenever you see these units such as cubic meters, cubic centimeters, or cubic millimeters, these are all units of volume. However, there are other units of volume that do not have cubic units. These are liters or milliliters. Pressure the pressure is the force exerted or the force applied by gas particles per unit area. Pressure is basically dependent on both the force exerted and the area to which the force is applied. Temperature Temperature is the measure of the hotness or coldness of an object. How does temperature affect the movement of gas molecules? The molecules of gases move quicker as the temperature rises. So, are you now ready to do the activities? Let's get started. The first activity is entitled, Balloon in a Bottle. We will need a clean plastic bottle, a balloon, and a pin. Please follow the procedure properly. Insert the balloon in a bottle. Stretch the tip of the balloon such that it covers the mouth of the plastic bottle. Now, blow some air in the balloon and observe what happens to the volume of the balloon as you blow air in it. Why is the balloon did not inflate? The balloon didn't inflate because there is air occupying the entire space in the bottle. There is no space in the bottle for the balloon to expand its volume. This time, using a pin, make a hole at the bottom of the plastic bottle. Then hold the bottle horizontally and begin sucking at the hole of the bottle. Do it repeatedly until you suck most of the air inside the bottle and observe what happens to the volume of the balloon. What happens to the volume of the balloon as you suck the air inside the bottle? The volume of the balloon increases. This is because the high pressure air in the balloon pushes outward harder than the low pressure air in the bottle. The air in the balloon pushes out against the walls, making it inflated. Plugging the hole with your finger will keep the balloon inflated. When the hole is unplugged, air flows back into the bottle, the air pressure in the bottle increases and collapses the balloon. Now what happens to the air pressure inside the bottle surrounding the balloon as you suck air at the hole of the bottle? The air pressure surrounding the balloon decreases. When you suck the air out of the bottle, the balloon inflates without you blowing it up. When the air is sucked out of the bottle, 
This lowers the air pressure in the bottle. Now, the air in the surrounding room is higher pressured air than the air inside the bottle. What is the relationship between volume in the air pressure at constant temperature? The volume is inversely proportional to the air pressure at constant temperature. This means that at constant temperature, as the air pressure decreases, the volume increases and vice versa. This relationship of volume to pressure at constant temperature is called Boyle's Law. Boyle's Law states that as the amount of pressure on a fixed amount of gas is increased, its volume decreases at constant temperature. This relationship can be expressed in an equation P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2, where P1 is the initial pressure, V1 is the initial volume, P2 is the final pressure, and V2 is the final volume. The next activity is called hot and cold. Here, we also need a clean plastic bottle, a balloon, bowl, hot water, and cold water. Again, please follow properly the procedure. Put the balloon on the bottle mouth. Stretch the tip of the balloon such that it covers the mouth of the plastic bottle. Prepare two bowls. Fill the first bowl with hot water and the second bowl with cold water. Put the bottle with balloon in a bowl with hot water and let it stay there for about 1 to 3 minutes. Observe what happens to the volume of the balloon. Then transfer the bottle with the balloon in a bowl with cold water. Let it stay there for another 1 to 3 minutes. Then observe what happens to the volume of the balloon. What happens to the volume of the balloon when placed in a bowl with hot water? The volume of the balloon increases. This is because the hot air molecules enters the balloon from the bottle, which is in a hot water container. Hot air molecules move faster inside the balloon and occupy more space as they become less dense than usual, making the balloon inflated. What happens to the volume of the balloon when placed in a bowl with cold water? The volume of the balloon decreases. When the plastic bottle with balloon is transferred to a bowl of cold water, air molecules in the balloon cool down so they move slower than before and occupy less space in the balloon so the balloon collapses. What is the relationship between volume and temperature of a gas at constant pressure? The volume is directly proportional to the temperature of a gas at constant pressure. This means that as the temperature of a gas increases, the volume also increases. This relationship is called Charles Law. Charles Law states that as the temperature increases, the volume of a gas also increases. Conversely, if the temperature of a gas decreases, the volume of the gas also decreases, keeping the pressure to be constant. This relationship can be expressed in an equation V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2, where V1 is the initial volume, T1 is the initial temperature, V2 is the final volume, and T2 is the final temperature. By the way, the temperature in gas loss is expressed in Kelvin or Kelvin units. Gas loss can be explained using the postulates of the kinetic molecular theory. The kinetic molecular theory, or KMT, describes the behavior of ideal gases at the particle level. The postulates of the kinetic molecular theory are as follows. Gases are tiny molecules in mostly empty space. The combined volume of the gas particles is negligible. These particles are much smaller than the distance between particles. The evidence for this is gases are easily compressed. The particles in a gas are in constant, rapid, random, straight-line motion. The evidence is gases mix rapidly. There is no force of attraction between gas particles or between the particles in the walls of the container. The evidence is gases do not clump or they do not concentrate in just one location or area 
rather they are scattered. Collision between gas particles or collisions with walls of the containers are perfectly elastic. None of the energy of a gas particle is lost when it collides with another particle or with the walls of the container. The evidence is gases exert pressure that does not diminish over time. And lastly, the average kinetic energy of a collection of gas particles is directly proportional to the temperature in kelvins. The evidence of this is the Charles law itself. Based on the postulates of the kinetic molecular theory, gases can be compressed because most of the volume of a gas is empty space. At a given temperature, the pressure of a container is determined by the number of times the gas particles or the gas molecules strike the container walls. If the gas is compressed to a smaller volume, then the same number of molecules will strike against the smaller surface area. The number of collisions against the container will increase, so the pressure will increase as well. Any increase in the frequency of collision with walls or with the walls must lead to an increase in the pressure of the gas. Increasing the energy of the gas particles will increase the pressure of the gas. Thus, the pressure of a gas becomes larger as the volume of the gas becomes smaller. Now, according to kinetic molecular theory, an increase in temperature will increase the average kinetic energy of the molecules. Since the mass of gas particles is constant, the particles must move faster as the gas becomes warmer. As the particles move faster, they will likely hit the edge of the container more often. If the reaction is kept at constant pressure, they must stay farther apart and an increase in volume will compensate for the increase in molecules collision with the surface of the container. The volume of the gas therefore becomes larger as the temperature of the gas increases. This explains how the kinetic molecular theory supports Boyle's law and Charles law. For your doing part, you will perform the activity entitled Egg in a Battle. This is your performance task for this learning activity sheet. You will need a clean glass bottle, a piece of paper, boiled egg, and mats or lighter. First, lit a piece of paper. Drop the lighted piece of paper in the glass bottle and quickly place the egg on the bottle mouth and observe what happens. You will draw or illustrate the following. Diagram of the setup for number one, before the piece of paper is lighted. Number two, after dropping the lighted piece of paper. And number three, after the fire put out. In your diagram, please indicate the relative areas of high and low pressure. Show using arrows the flow of high-pressure air trying to equalize low-pressure air. Then explain how the egg fits into the battle. Use your knowledge on gas laws to draw the air pressure, the air molecules, and other factors that enables egg fits into the battle. Your grade for the doing part will be based on this scoring rubrics. So I hope you enjoy the activities on gas laws. Stay tuned for the next video lesson.